Going to give you a quick overview on the 55 series post cover sets we have for the John Deere tractors. Um, they also fit the 60 series. They're uh, sailcloth in color. They're perforated vinyl. They're perforated to what they call 18%. And 18% means that 18% of the material has been removed. The reason for the perforations is so the sound can get through the vinyl and be absorbed into the foam on the back side. This foam is a special foam. It's not a cushion foam. It's a, an acoustic foam made specifically for sound absorption. Also with this part, you get the decal plate. I don't think anyone else provides a decal plate. It's a, a high quality decal plate. It is not just a ran off your printer. It's a piece of polycarbonate and it's silk screen, so it's going to last forever. Um, this part, the glue in model, what you get with that will be four posts, a can of adhesive, and an instruction sheet. The quick fix model is what you see over here. You're going to get four posts, a tube of silicone sealant, and an instruction sheet also. We'll come back to the, the glue in model and point out a few things about it. This particular post, all, all our glue in posts are three quarters of an inch thick. A lot of people are just giving you a piece of half inch foam that's uh, stamped out to this shape. They don't have all the hot wire cuts, bevels, edges done on it like ours does. And if you are content with a half inch piece, we do sell the material. You can make them yourself for a lot less than $60. So um, take a look at making them yourself. We've got a couple videos on how to create your own cab kit. And uh, I don't know if I, ha I haven't put it on yet, but I'm going to make one, show you how to actually make a post set. If you're happy with a half inch thick, you just well make them yourself. So. Um, if you look at the profile of this thing, you can see it's made of perforated vinyl facing, then three quarter inch foam, and nothing on the back. These quick fit ones, same thing, three quarter inch foam, or a perforated vinyl facing, three quarter inch foam, and then they're plastic backed. So, um, when you glue these things in, alignment is critical on these glue in ones, and you can see this strip right here. That width right there, you use that for lining up up the center of your post when you spray the adhesive on. It's very critical you get these on straight. If you get them crooked, you get two-thirds of the way up the post and you try to make a correction, you get a wrinkle. So they're, they're a little difficult because they're long and narrow. If you have concerns about it, you can buy the quick fit plastic back models. You can't screw those things up, but they are significantly more expensive. But they're really a nice product. If at a later date you want to run some wires or something behind there, you can pop these things back off, run speaker wires or whatever. When you tear these things off, if they are glued properly, you're going to tear them to shreds to get them off of there. So there's no pull this off and redo it. Once this thing's on there, it's on there. And if you can pull it back off, it's going to fall off when it gets hot. So make sure and use plenty of adhesive when you put these things on. Always spray the metal first and the foam second. When you do spray the adhesive on these, this big V groove right here, try not to get any adhesive in that thing. If you get adhesive in this V groove and you put it on the post, you get a nice crisp corner like this. If you happen to push that in like this before it's dry, that will not pop out. Keep the adhesive out of that groove and you'll have no problems. You won't end up with a permanent divot on your corners. So you don't have to worry about any of these other hot wire cuts. You can get glue in any of these areas you want. Just keep it out of that big groove right there. So it's a nice product. Like I said, comes with the decal plate. It it really looks good. Fits nice. Um, they're all the same. They're made on a die cutter, so they're exactly the same every single part. So they're all going to fit just right. But alignment's critical. Get those things on there straight, or you're going to have problems. You get to these quick fit ones. They come with a tube of silicone sealant. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. Um, most people don't, but we include it with the kit. I don't know why you wouldn't use it, but uh, some people don't because they want to pop these things back off occasionally. And um, They do. They grab right onto the cab. When you put these things on, you pull this plastic apart like this, put it around the post, and it pops right into place. We actually have a video on that. You should uh, probably look at those videos before you decide which one of these posts you want to buy because you can... Um, and the time it takes to put in one of these glue in posts, you can actually do all four of these and probably less than half the time it takes to put in one post. You can put in all four of these and they look good, you can't mess them up. So this is a, a really nice product. 
had zero complaints or problems with these things. Anybody who buys these, when they come back to get another set of posts, they buy these every time. Nobody has ever bought one of these sets and went back to the glue-in model ever. So, um, Pick out whatever kit you would like based upon your abilities and your budget. These are significantly cheaper, but a little more difficult to put in.